I'm sure you, just like me, wake up every morning and wonder, gee, how can I express this gene to get a trait I want in this here fruit fly? Well, if you don't, too bad. Just say you do for the sake of this video. But what would you do? Well, you would use this fabulous thing called the GAL4 UAS system. But first, let's talk about how genes get expressed and become proteins, because that is really important. First, we start off with a strand of DNA. This is the famous double helix chain of nucleotides, each of which is paired with its complementary nucleotide um, in something called a base pair. A gene is just a certain set of these nucleotides that can be expressed to get a protein or a characteristic in the organism. Right before the gene is this other set of nucleotides called the promoter sequence. An enzyme called RNA polymerase binds here and begins copying the gene, but only from one strand of DNA. This process is called transcription, and when the RNA polymerase is done plagiarizing the DNA, it has a single strand of nucleotides called messenger RNA. This messenger RNA goes to the ribosome of the cell, which, in a process called translation, turns the messenger RNA into a protein. That was just a basic overview of how genes are expressed, since I'm a very basic person. Now, this is all well and good, but you basically have to wait for RNA polymerase to begin copying the nucleotides in DNA. So, General Savage's Norbert Perimon and Andrea Brand developed the GAL4 UAS system at Harvard, which basically triggers the expression of a gene somewhere in the DNA of a cell. There are two parts, GAL4, duh, and UAS, which stands for Upstream Activation Sequence. First, we start off with our GAL4 gene, which shockingly codes for the GAL4 protein. This gene can be manipulated to be expressed in a specific part of an organism's body. For example, the eye of a fruit fly or the brain. Side note, I have never tried the brain expression since I don't have one. This section, this GAL4 gene, with the promoter sequence is called the driver. When the GAL4 gene gets expressed, the resulting GAL4 proteins float around until they find a UAS enhancer in front of some gene that you want expressed in the DNA. The GAL4 proteins then attach to the UAS, which through a series of other events attracts an RNA polymerase to speedily begin the process of gene expression for whatever gene comes after the UAS. The sequence with the UAS and the gene is called the responder sequence. This is especially useful for expressing a gene at a certain time. Since certain organisms have the GAL4 present somewhere, all you have to do is stick in a UAS and whatever follows the UAS will get expressed when the GAL4 does. Thanks for watching.